Look, her outfit is Prada, I'm smoking on guava. This a gambala, it's not an impala. They stand with buttons, it cost me a lot. All right, guys, today we're talking about a very, very special tuner and a very special car. This is the 1984 SEC Gimbala. So this car we found here in the RM Sotheby's auction. It was an open roads auction they had. Uh, I think, I believe it took place in Italy. Um, but the car was located in the Canary Islands, so Canarias, where it was originally ordered to. Um, and after it was ordered from the factory, from Mercedes, it went right to Gimbala tuning company and then on its way to Canaries, which is its final destination. Semi-owned by Spain, kind of a, a semi-independent nation uh, under the uh, observance of Spain and rules of Spain. But this car was ordered to that small set of islands and never left. Some amazing cars in Canary Islands. All the wealthy people from all over Europe have a place there. So this car would have fit right in there, right in places like San Tropez and now down in Florida where it really belongs. It took us a while to ship it out of there. It was really hard to get shipping out of there at the time, especially during COVID. But yeah, we, we have some special gems from the Canary Islands, this being one of them. This one right here came with a nice pearl paint, like a pearl finish. Just, you've with, seen a lot of Gumballs. Yeah. It's like they're, they're, their specialty paint coat is this pearl yeah. finish. It's we like their a, trademark. Yeah, we have another one like that. You've seen a lot of Porsches um, when they did some of the customization. That pearl is a very special pearl that Gumball is known for. Yeah, also they did obviously the interior. This is what Gumballa specializes in. Just to get the entry level interior from Gumballa, $70,000 back then, which is like over $150,000 today, just to have your interior done. They did the white leather with the black piping, the Gambala steering wheel. They also did the flared leather on the door cards. Always uh, interesting designs that Gambala comes with. And usually they do a lot more tricked out stuff, like they'll put all the radios and all the crazy stuff like our SEL has, yeah. our 1001 SEL. But this is just a more basic, more uh more fine kind of like yeah. very tasteful european understated is, understated is the best way to say it so if you've seen this car on the road you wouldn't think it's a gambala you just think it's a, a special looking uh, sec it doesn't look stock but it doesn't look anything crazy uh european bumpers front and back it actually doesn't have the correct wheels usually these cars would come with bbs wheels color matching to the paint but what happens is a lot of times with these cars when they drop in value and the sellers are trying to get rid of the car they say, well, the, the rims are worth 5,000, the car's worth about 10,000, so I'm gonna sell, sell them separately. So uh, a lot of times these special cars come missing the BBS wheels, just like our other Gambala, which actually came with uh, missing wheels as well. One thing that's really impressive about Gambala too is his attention and the tuner's attention uh, to technology and how to leverage different technology at the time. He would do revolutionary things like put cameras instead of mirrors in the 1980s when nobody would even think of doing something like that. Screens all over the place. Uh, crazy radios all over the place. Uh, one of the craziest tuners of the time. You can find a lot about the story of Uwe Gambala online. But basically, long and short of it, he was killed over disagreements with the wrong types of people, which happens if you mess with the wrong types of people, unfortunately. One of the more interesting uh, tuners of its time, also his name, very, very popular amongst uh, the tuning uh, industry. Gambala, it's like a symbolic type of name. It's very cool. So in here, you see one of the early, early renditions of having radio and tape controls on the steering wheel. So you could turn up volume, you could fast forward, rewind from base, from the steering wheel, uh, press play, pause, etc., which is something that was never seen before. The, the Gimbala steering wheel with all the buttons basically became like their trademark and that's what they're known for. So it's kind of simple. Whenever you see a Gimbala steering wheel, you know what it is. It's very distinct and no other tuner did it with all the buttons like that. And the other Gimbala that we will be doing a video on, we will show uh, how the steering wheel does actually function and it's actually very legendary. So uh, if you've ever seen a Gimbala steering wheel, please let us know. And if you have one for sale or you have one laying around, please send it to the Patina Collective. We need it for the museum. The car also uh, is outfitted with a Gimbala cluster, which you never really see. Uh, this is the uh, multi-tone Gimbala cluster with the main white, almost leather finish, which yeah. is uh, very, very unique and matches the car interior. And also uh, grill coverings for the custom speakers in the back which are Gambala grill coverings. So for a lot of Gambalas out there that had integrated, uh, you know, televisions, cameras, this one we're showing you today is a little more straightforward, a little more kind of main uh, main road type of Gambala. Not the most extreme example, but extreme examples do exist and we're always looking to try to acquire them. We're always looking for anything Gambala. Gambalas are so rare. Everything about Gambalas are rare. Uh, we have 300 cars in the collection. We have many, many AMGs, we have many Brabuses. We have actually many SGSs. We do not have many Gambalas. We have many Koenigs. We do not have many Gambalas. So Gambalas started with Porsches. 
U Uwe Gambala. He started doing Porsches originally. Another reason why you don't see many Gambalas out there, like you see many, many Koenig Specials for sale all the time. You see a lot of Brabuses for sale all the time, a lot of tuners, but Gambala is very rare because it was so expensive to convert a car. Um, not many people did it, especially not Mercedes. People were gonna do it, they were doing it with Porsches. They didn't really value, they didn't see the value in, in making Mercedes Gambalas, but, but the Porsches were going crazy in, in the 80s. So uh, there's very, very few Gimbala Mercedes out there, especially the wide body ones, very rare. So if you guys see Gimbala out there, for example, I know one was sold in like 2009 on eBay, which is a wide body black Gimbala. We'll show you guys a picture of that right now. See cars like that, any Gimbalas, please let us know. We'd love to know more about them, see if we can acquire them, see if we got our hands on them, and also bring them to the museum where they belong down here and be taken care of. And let us know if you ever heard the word Gimbala more times in one video in your life. Please drop the comment in the... <laughs> Gimbala boys. What's amazing about this car, even though it's a coupe, it has some really amazing luxury amenities. If you look here under the center armrest, you have what was an early predecessor of cup holders, which weren't really seen until years later in Mercedes. Gold with the same matching leather line. Under here, you have a chiller, a place you can keep a small bottle of a split champagne, uh, maybe a couple beers in there, but a way to keep your drinks cold travel, all inside this custom wood container. And here, you have additional storage, a place you can put two champagne flutes or some glasses. So really meant to enhance a luxury experience for everyone in the vehicle. Um, just very nice touches and amenities, all custom done by Gambala. You know, a lot of attention is paid to drivers when it comes to customizing cars, but really here also the back seat, even though the back seat wasn't highly utilized in these cars, was fully customized as well. Uh, you can even look at the small door inserts here. Um, those are done with that scalloped custom leather work even leather wrapping, all the handles in the back. So another touch here, and something about Gambal, which is really, really, really cool, is their logo. It's very well executed, a simple G that kind of goes in this swirl, very ind indicative of the, the 80s and 90s excess, uh, little gold emblems they would put on the speaker cover. So even yep. these custom wrapped in leather and the custom Gambal speaker covers. It really added so much character to the back of the car, you know? Yeah. Uh, even the other one we have, uh, the, the wide body one, has like these big speaker covers. Yeah. They just knew how to like do subtle things that made it look really extreme. Trunk is regular, but look guys, just, just so you know, Gambala paid attention to detail. It's all about attention to detail. Even in the trunk, you even have in the trunk right here, white piping. So they did a reverse here. It's black with white piping in the trunk and it's white with uh, black piping in the interior. Just a little, you know, taste that they have a little thing they, they put for their customers just to let you know you are special all the way through right here uh last thing we're going to talk about is the door cards but we have this flared look right here it's very beautiful yeah. it's very very well done. and you know they knew all their customers would smoke in their cars that's why they always added extra ashtrays uh this was the age of excess it was the 80s people love to smoke it is what it is they knew that so they did uh accommodate you with extra ashtrays in every angle of the car. But yeah, guys, we're gonna take this car out for a ride, see how it rides, talk about Gambala a little more, and uh, talk about the history of Gambala. Driving this Gambala right now, very special car. Um, one of the crazier tuners from the 80s. One of the more special tuners. Very, very exaggerated steering wheels, over the top paint jobs, crazy body kits, Gambala did it all. Something that's really wild about Gambala is that the attention the detail. I mean, the only two cars that it really touched for the most part were Porsches and Benzes. And uh, the attention to detail to make this inside feel like a uh, sporty, but also very luxury. A lot of Gambalas came with gold plated items like Romatech rims, SEL badges, SEC badges. And they kind of just went crazy on adding gold to a lot of these models. It's all in all very special. Leather wrapped uh, dash, steering wheels, ceilings. I'd say one thing about this car, the one word I'd use to describe it is very tasteful. Yeah. It's tastefully done. It's, uh, you can tell it's very rich, even though it's very clean. Yeah. Very Almost understated like for a Gimbala. Understated, but it's also like a, a beautifully appointed, like modern house. It's like a modern home. And that's what it probably felt like at the time. And the pearl on the outside, just a great way to finish it. Yeah. You know, even look at the cluster here with the leather backing on that. Yeah. Look, look at the stitching right here. Yeah, stitching around the mirror. Like this is very detailed stuff. Even this is leather wrapped. So they went over the top. Uh, when you're inside uh, the SEL Gimbala, for instance, and you're just sitting in the seat moving around, all you hear is leather on leather rubbing because everything is leather. They took the side panels, made them leather. 
So they would take all the plastic parts and make them leather usually. Even the steering column, you know, okay. it's a unique Kambala steering column. It's a circular, the, the uh, steering column. So it's just a cylinder all the way down. So it's, uh, it just adds a much more luxury, just like a finished look you wouldn't see in other bins. Just kind of imagine driving around San Tropez, London, all these places in the 80s when you're just a very wealthy person and want to show it in a very kind of understated way. Yeah. So it's it's like the nostalgia this car brings is incredible because it's that craftsmanship you could tell it's from the 80s and 90s. This type of craftsmanship, like that kind of quality of the 80s and early, early 90s. Yeah, so looking forward to getting more Gimbalas in the collection uh, compared to the Koenig count and the AMG count and the Brabus count. This is one of the smaller um, sections we have in the museum. What you think about it? That's nasty, right? That's it. Woo! Man, but that right there, that's rare. Yeah. You ain't gonna find that. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, shit. This, this don't good. make sense, man, right? It don't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> make it look good, man. This yeah. is it, this is it. This is it, thank you, bro.